Have you ever wondered how cybersecurity experts infiltrate ransomware gangs? Well, it's a high-stakes game of digital cat and mouse, played out in the shadowy corners of the internet. Over the past few years, ransomware attacks have been on the rise, with notorious gangs such as Lockbit making headlines for their audacious cyber heists. These digital thieves have extorted over $120 million from victims all around the globe, exploiting vulnerabilities in our interconnected world. To combat this escalating threat, cybersecurity experts like former NSA analyst John DiMaggio have taken the fight to the enemy, infiltrating these gangs to gather crucial intelligence. Yet, as the scale and complexity of these attacks increase, so too does the need for more resources and authority to effectively address this growing menace. In this video, we will delve into the world of ransomware, bringing you insights from cybersecurity experts and former ransomware gang members. What does it take to infiltrate a ransomware gang? A question that might send shivers down your spine, but for John DiMaggio, a former NSA analyst and current cybersecurity strategist, it's just another day at the office. In this high-stakes game of digital cat and mouse, DiMaggio uses his unique set of skills to burrow into the underbelly of the dark web, collecting intelligence on ransomware gangs like the infamous Lockbit. These are not your average online troublemakers, mind you. These are organized, sophisticated criminals who've managed to extort over $120 million from their victims worldwide. So, how does one get into the mind of these cyber criminals? It starts with understanding their tactics, their tools, and their motives. DiMaggio explains that this isn't a job for the faint-hearted. It requires a deep understanding of the dark web, a knack for digital forensics, and the ability to think like a criminal. It's a chess match where every move could lead to a checkmate or a dangerous stalemate. Infiltration is not a solo mission, but a collaborative effort. DiMaggio works closely with the Department of Justice and international partners. Together, they've managed to seize control of Lockbit's servers and indict two Russian nationals responsible for deploying the ransomware. Yet, the fight against ransomware is far from over. DiMaggio emphasizes the need for more resources and authority to effectively address the growing threat. He likens the situation to a hydra. Cut off one head, two more grow back. Despite the risks and challenges, DiMaggio remains undeterred. After all, the stakes are too high to back down. The stakes are high, but the rewards? Potentially saving millions of dollars and countless data. Who are the people behind these ransomware attacks? You may ask. Well, let's delve into a day in the life of one such individual. Meet our anonymous guest, a former ransomware gang member who's agreed to shed some light on the dark corners of this cyber underworld. Of course, identities are protected here, not for condoning their actions, but for gaining insight into this shadowy world. So what motivates someone to join a ransomware gang? Well, according to our guest, it's a complex mix of factors. Some enter this world out of sheer curiosity, some for the thrill of outsmarting systems, and others for the allure of easy money. It's not a one-size-fits-all answer, but the common thread is a deviation from the path of ethical digital conduct. And how does a typical day unfold for a ransomware gang member? It's not as glamorous as one might imagine. It's filled with code. Lots of it. They are constantly developing and refining ransomware strains, probing potential targets, and devising stealthy infiltration strategies. It's a high-stakes game of digital cat and mouse, where the slightest mistake can lead to exposure or failure. The lifestyle, well, it's filled with paranoia and isolation. Despite the potential for high financial rewards, the constant fear of being caught and the lack of genuine human connections can make it a lonely path to tread. It's a life lived in the shadows, behind a screen, detached from the real-world consequences of their actions. So when we talk about ransomware attacks, it's important to remember that they're not just faceless threats from the ether. They're orchestrated by real people, driven by their motivations, and executed through their skills. This understanding is crucial in developing effective countermeasures in the ever-evolving cyber threat landscape. Behind every ransomware attack, there's a human story. How are authorities combating ransomware? This question is at the heart of our efforts to secure the digital landscape. The Department of Justice, along with international partners, is leading the charge in this battle. 
Their strategies span the gamut from prevention to proactive infiltration and disruption of ransomware gangs. One notable success story is the operation against the notorious Lockbit gang. Lockbit was responsible for extorting over $120 million from victims worldwide. A team of cybersecurity experts, led by former NSA analyst John DiMaggio, infiltrated the gang to gather vital intelligence. Their mission was not just about identifying the culprits, it was about understanding how they operate, their tactics, techniques, and procedures. This invaluable insight helps refine our defense strategies and makes it possible for us to stay one step ahead of these cyber criminals. The operation culminated in a significant victory. The Department of Justice, working closely with their international partners, seized control of Lockbit servers and disrupted their operations. But the fight didn't stop there. Two Russian nationals were indicted for deploying the ransomware, sending a strong message that cybercrime will not go unpunished. But this is just one battle in an ongoing war. Despite these victories, the threat of ransomware continues to loom large. Experts emphasize the need for more resources and authority to effectively address this growing threat. The fight against ransomware is not a solo mission as it requires the collaboration of international law enforcement, cybersecurity experts, and even everyday internet users. Each of us has a role to play in this global effort. Remember, in the digital world, vigilance is our strongest weapon. So let's arm ourselves with knowledge and join the fight against ransomware. After all, the fight against ransomware is a collaborative global effort. What does the future hold for cybersecurity? It's a question on everyone's mind as we grapple with an increasingly interconnected world where the lines between the physical and digital continue to blur. The landscape of cybersecurity is evolving at a breakneck speed with new challenges and opportunities emerging every day. The rise of ransomware gangs like the infamous Lockbit is a testament to the sophisticated threats we face. These actors are not lone wolves working in their basements but highly organized networks operating in the shadows of the dark web, extorting millions from victims across the globe. This reality underscores the urgent need for more resources and authority to combat ransomware. The Department of Justice's recent success in seizing control of Lockbit servers and indicting two Russian nationals is a promising step, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. We need a comprehensive global approach to cybersecurity one that leverages the collective strengths of governments, private entities, and individuals. In the future, we can expect to see a greater emphasis on proactive defense strategies, like infiltrating these ransomware gangs to gather intelligence. This approach, adopted by former NSA analyst John DiMaggio, is a prime example of the innovative tactics that are likely to become commonplace. Moreover, industry leaders and experts are calling for increased collaboration and information sharing, not just within sectors, but across them. By breaking down silos and fostering a culture of cooperation, we can build a robust defense against cyber threats. The advent of advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning also offers exciting possibilities. These tools can help us predict and prevent attacks, enhancing our resilience in the face of evolving threats. But let's be clear, the future of cybersecurity isn't just about technology, it's about people. It's about cultivating a new generation of cybersecurity professionals, equipped with the skills and mindset to outsmart these criminal networks. The future of cybersecurity is a race against time, technology, and criminal intent. It's a race we cannot afford to lose. For in this digital age, our security, our freedom, and our very way of life are at stake. Infiltrating ransomware gangs is a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. We've explored the unsettling rise of ransomware attacks, with gangs like Lockbit extorting over $120 million from victims worldwide. We've stepped into the shoes of cybersecurity experts like John DiMaggio, who dive into the underbelly of the dark web infiltrating these gangs to gather vital intelligence. We've glimpsed the human stories behind the attacks had the lives disrupted and the urgent global efforts to combat this growing menace. The Department of Justice, together with international partners, are seizing control of servers, indicting criminals, and fighting to keep us safe. Yet, as DiMaggio points out, we need more resources and authority to effectively address the escalating threat. 
As we continue to navigate the digital age, the battle against ransomware will only grow more complex and critical. Stay safe out there.